Hey, what's up, guys? How is everyone doing? Uh, let's start. <laughs> so this this one hurt me. Um, I had high expectations for Armored Core, and I'm disappointed by one feature that's kind of fundamental to the game. I'm disappointed that it has the Souls lock on, and I'm gonna go over some of that stuff in a little bit. But I just want to give you an idea really quickly uh, as to like what's problematic with the game. It's that it mixes mechanics that don't really have much of a place in the game that kind of casualize the game and remove a lot of the skill from the typical Armored Core gameplay. So, with that being said, thanks a lot for Vadi for providing uh, this footage. You know, it's really appreciated to be able to uh, have some footage. Vadi was kind enough to provide his footage for all content creators and but not just for all content creators Vadi even after he saw me in the depressed in my stream after seeing the trailer he um he came up to me privately and offered me some uncompressed footage <laughs> so much thanks to Vadi much appreciated man I really I'm really thankful so yeah guys honestly you need to check out Vadi's coverage because he goes well and beyond. He even created a HUD just from memory from seeing the footage at the Bandai Nemco event. So a big shout out to Vadi. Uh, I would not have made this uh, video, at least in this quality, if it wasn't for him. So I really appreciate it. But with that being said, let's go back to the main topic. So what's wrong with Armored Core? Well, here, since we, since we got the lock on... And the HUD that Vadi made himself, so this is an or overlay, the, the HUD that you're seeing is the HUD Vadi made. I just want to make that clear, it's not the actual HUD you get from the game, but I'm sure it's going to be close enough to it. So my main gripes with the game is how, how you pretty much lock onto your target and your robot just stays on target at all times. So you can pretty much lock onto a target and never really have to use your joystick or to, to aim with your mouse ever. So that's not something that was there previously ever. Like this is something that they made completely new. Um, honestly, I think they casualized the game in that aspect because it makes it much easier to control the mech. And so much so, in fact, that you don't really have to do like any complicated maneuvers to like outplay whatever you're fighting. So I think a, the best example is this little sequence here where normally the idea in Armored Core is you want to get behind your enemy and getting behind your enemy gives you the advantage because you have the angle on them. But on the other hand, getting behind your enemy comes at a price because you have to keep uh, the lot. Well, you have to keep your reticle here. We don't see it, but you have to keep the reticle on your target as it's moving, as, as you're moving. Here, you don't have to do that anymore because the hard lock-on from Souls makes it so that you're constantly hard locked on your target. So you can never really, you can never really like <laughs> miss or... I want to say that Armored Core is not a shooter game and it's really not. But at the same time, it's like having an aimbot in a shooter game. Like it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but I get, I guess I know why that they're doing this it's because they want the this game to be closer to souls and so they want to bring in the elden ring audience and make it uh, more enjoyable for people who have never played armored core before but uh, at the price of kind of dumbing down the mechanics unfortunately but yeah it's unfortunate because i feel like the entire trailer and everything else but that fundamental feature is kind of you know it's all looking really good so that's that's another reason why it hurts even more, not just because I was waiting for this for forever, but because everything else around it is like fine, you know, everything else looks good. It's just that one thing that kind of affects the gameplay like way too much. It's like they went a completely different route. And it's the same thing with the melee, you know, it's like, oh, maybe they're trying to focus on the melee a little bit, right? You know, with all these new uh, melee attacks and whatnot. Problem with that is, you know, the lock-on works very well in Souls. The lock-on mechanics is is like perfectly fine uh, because in Souls, spacing is very important and managing the distance between you and your opponent has to be precise in order for you to perform well. 
Here the thing with a armored core here is armored core is not precise with distance. You're too fast in this game to manage distance. And so when you look at melee attacks here, and I slowed down the footage a little bit, when you go and move forward for a melee attack, you'll notice that the distance doesn't really matter much because the, of the perfect tracking from the lock-on. Let's wait for it. Look at look at it here. Like this, this, this one, he does a, a kick and then he's going to do a blade attack. But you can't really miss that blade attack because you travel so damn far and so quickly that and you have a hard lock on with perfect tracking so it's actually impossible to miss your attack but that defies the entire point of going for a melee which normally in armored core games you have to manually aim them there's it's not going to be like the same feel as melee with a souls game and it's not going to be the same challenge feel as melee with older armored core games so in a sense it's just a lot easier to hit pretty much anything and you can't really ever lose track of your target. And so, in a sense, like, the, my main problem with this is that it's casualized, but at the same time, I feel like it's probably a necessary evil in the sense that I, I genuinely think that I'm going to be, like, the 1% one, the 1 minority that doesn't like this stuff. Because most people will not really notice because they have no point of reference. And they're just going to be happy that, you know, it's it plays like a Souls game at the end of the day. But, yeah, it is what it is. Um, you know, I went to the, the the garden afterward when I first saw the, the trailer. I was so disappointed. I went to the garden and, you know, just started <laughs> taking out the weed. And, man, our garlic is, like, almost one meter tall. It's actually crazy. And our, uh, our hot peppers are doing well as well. But... Anyway, I touched grass a little bit, felt good about it, and I mean, it's fine. I guess I'll still play the game, and I'm still eager to try it, but uh, let's just say that being worried about the game now would be an understatement. I kind of, this kind of killed my hype for the game. Like, this is too much of a big deal, feature-wise, for me to ignore it, and yeah. Well, it is what it is. Uh, we're still looking forward to Starfield, and... Yeah, we're still going to play it, you know, check it out. I'm definitely going to give the game a chance. You know, one thing that I've experienced before is when I got to play Armored Core 5 for the first time, the fifth generation of Armored Core was so different from the fourth one. I really disliked the new features in the fifth generation, but I gave the, I gave the game a, a chance. And eventually, after like two weeks of playing it, uh, I actually ended up liking Armored Core 5 more than any other um, and Verdict Day more than any other Armored Core game. So who knows, maybe those new features will uh, will just take time to get used to. But as it stands right now, I genuinely think that this is a departure from Armored Core, um, trying to bridge with Souls. But at the same time, there is clearly... Um, it's, it's, not, it's undeniable that there is a push to make the game uh, more modern for a wider audience as uh, they said in their interview. So yeah, it is what it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I didn't uh, kill your hype too much for the game. But, I mean, shit. <laughs> Man, I have to be honest. I, I, this one hurt. Uh, this this particular one hurt. Uh, man. Uh, you know, I... I love Armored Core games. Like, I was an Armored Core fan, like, way before I even knew what Souls games were. So, Armored Core games are, like, extremely close to my heart. And this one, this, this one did not feel good. Well, anyway, take care, guys.